Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. So, finally the time has come to interact with a couple of incredible arrivals and gifts and donations and especially contributions to the Fashion Bunker and Fashion Bunker archives that you guys have sent over to my P.O. box, which I can mention here again, will be open for a limited time only still. Um, the Fashion Bunker, uh, 1626 Wilcox Avenue, number 160, Hollywood, California, two, uh, 90028, US of A. So, today's video is dedicated to Mr. Stupman. Thank you so much, sweetie. You know what she did. So, we had a little exchange with uh, private messaging as well because I asked you, like, what am I allowed to say, what not? Because... A lot of you send in stuff and you really do not want me to mention it at all on camera. So I respect that totally. Um, but uh, Mr. Stupman, actually, I was th thinking about your name because I was like, wait a minute. Stupman is also an abbreviation of it could have been like, shut up, man, because stop. I don't know. You you have to explain to me more about your your, your name, uh, your username on YouTube. And um, so there's actually two incredible gifts. Uh, let's begin with the first one. I have to cover your address, but it came in this amazing reminiscent 70s pattern package. I am loving the patterns here. And um, I would actually love to have this sort of tile structure, like in the bathroom or maybe on a patio one day. That would be so cool. Look at that. Loving the pattern. And I love how you wrote Le Bunker. You know, he sent the stuff into the Bunker. And actually... Wait, let me also cover, I don't want to show the whole piece. Uh, a letter arrived, uh, amazing letter by the way, with Coco Chanel at work. See a little close up of her working. And I'm going to read um, not the entire letter because the intimate part of the letter, I mean the, the personal private part of the letter has to stay private, but the part that concerns me, I can read. I hope uh, I can. I mean, I think I can because, you know, and it says, uh, anyway, enough about me. So that was the part about you, Stupman. And then you said, um, um, let's talk about you. I came to you when I was doing research on Sycamore, uh, the, the perfume. Uh, I was listening to people go on and on about how wonderful it was, so I ordered a decant of the Eau de Parfum, and you guessed it, significantly underwhelmed. Through your education, I knew that my esteemed colleagues were all talking about the Eau de Toilette. Since that time, I've been working through your videos slowly but surely. And I have to say, I'm really enjoying the ride. I adore people who are passionate about things in their lives. And you certainly are. For me, it's like a magnetic pull. Doesn't so much matter what you love as long as you own it. I've gone on quite long enough. Oh, by the way, let's read the beginning of the letter. Um, because uh, it concerns Coco herself and I love the opening. Uh, gentle Daco, that's so sweet of you. I, you know, I'm gentle, but I can also be rough. But yes, I tr I work hard to really um, be gentle because I think that's the best policy in life, to be always gentle to one another where possible and when possible. As promised, here is a decant of Ancre Noir, and now we're getting to Ancre Noir. By Lalique, along with my personal favorite photo of Mademoiselle Chanel working both a, a giton and a needle. I think it epitomizes what she represents and a kind of humility, or perhaps impatience, as in, oh, for God's sake, give me a damn needle and thread, I'll do it myself. Um, let's let's just put it this way. Chanel um, <clears throat> definitely did everything herself as much as she could. And not because she was impatient, but just because um, she did it best. I know this sounds like a bit arrogant, but she really did it best. And Chanel was also the best model for herself. Nobody wore a Chanel outfit or total look as well as Chanel did. Um, I've gone on quite long enough. I wanted this to be a, a brief little introduction and to get this thing in the mail finally. I also wanted to thank you for being an inspiration uh, and all the hard work that you have put into your channel and your videos. By now you should have received a little box I had sent from Chanel as a small token of my thanks for your dedication. I know you are boycotting luxury purchases, but I certainly hope you are not boycotting luxury gifts sent by uh, an adoring public. I hope you are enjoying it and find a special little place in the fashion bunker for it. Thank you so much, Tupan. Now, first of all, yes, uh, of course, you know, if it's a gift, it's meant from the heart. There is no 
there's no, you know, saying no to that for, from my end, never. And um, as far as uh, Lalique Ancre Noir, I'm going to open it. I'm super excited. And yes, a review will be coming. So stay tuned for Ancre Noir by Lalique, reviewed by Super D. Uh, let's take it out. This is the first time I will be smelling it, by the way, from the decant. So maybe let's, we're just going to have like a quick first impressions. You know, is it coming? It's not pumping. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, it came out. Yes, very, very interesting indeed. Yeah, it's sycamore. <laughs> it definitely is. There are nuances and differences for sure. But I will be reviewing this one, so let's 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 keep it as a cliffhanger. Um, of course, it's the first time I sprayed it on. It's gonna develop. I'm gonna have to go through all the notes through the head, you know, the middle heart notes and then the bass notes and then the dry down. Very very fascinating. So expect coming soon to the fashion bunker the review of Lalique's Ancre Noir. Now let's get to the second package, also from Stuckmann. Okay, let's just. Open it up so you see immediately what it is. Look at that little Coco sign. Are these? <laughs> oh, we lost it. This is a little a tiny pouch where they give you samples. So I got also samples in there. And there is a card. Now let's get to the card first. Oh, it's beautiful. The card has a little Chanel logo on it as well. So, dearest Jacob, I hope you enjoy this token of my esteem. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on it. XOXO Rob, aka Stuckmann. Hello, sweetie. Thank you so much. Oh my God, look at all this Chanel. Ah, I'm dying. Okay, this is uh, the, the bill, I think. Okay, here we get to the actual unboxing. Oh, these boxes, they're so... Robust ASMR. What's up with my hair? It's a mess. Sorry for the hair, guys. Mm. Ah. I love when they imitate like a wax seal from the old, old ages. And they have these stickers that are made like wax seals. Look at that. And it's a heavy box. And I never break anything here. I have like my ways of opening stuff without damaging them. Oh, are we gonna do this without damaging it? Ah, there it is, guys, I can't believe it. I did not want to purchase this because I'm not purchasing new stuff, but Stuckmann did it for me. He knew I really wanted to test it out. It's the Huile de Jasmine, the Jasmine oil. Thank you so much for this. And I'm going to also test this one out. Now we know that this is, oh, look how cute it is. Oh my God, it's so tiny. Okay, it comes with this little booklet. Oh, I'm going to read this little thing. So we all know that this is main, meant for the face. Let's just zoom it in. Let's zoom it in. I mean, I'm going to try to show it to you guys as close as possible. Um, so it's going to be kind of difficult to test it because it is an oil and it is meant for the face and the body. I might test it on here or maybe on the neck a little because uh, on the face, okay, it's sealed. It has a little uh, sticker on it. Now I'm not going to take it off just now. I'm going to make an extra video just for the jasmine oil and review it in, in, in depth. But I mean, since I do have makeup on, it's going to be hard to put this on on camera. Um, so I will have to test it out either off camera on the face and then on camera on other parts of the skin of the body where kind of the skin is the softest like here. And then you will definitely also be receiving an in-depth review of the Huile de Jasmine by Chanel. This was a 20s uh, product that has been reintroduced and relaunched as a kind of an exclusive limited edition on sale only in some boutiques, in some Chanel boutiques and on the Chanel website product. So it's not an eau de toilette, it's not a les exclusives, it's not an eau de parfum, it's an oil. 
And thank you so much, Tupan. This is definitely going to go in the Fashion Bunker archives, even when one day it's going to be, you know, empty and totally used up because I will, I am planning on using this one. I'm still going to keep the bottle because it's a rare little product. It's a rare little gem, you know, um, once, uh, once it's used up, it, you, this one is not going to be thrown away. And just as a side note, I do have like this tendency sometimes because a friend of mine asked me the other day, like, Deka, what do you do with like, with all the, you know, you love Chanel perfumes, for example. So when you use up a bottle, what do you do? Do you throw it away? I never throw away a bottle. I made a mistake once. I did once when I was traveling and it was too heavy and I emptied it and I threw it away, but I'll never do that again. But I have a trick I use. Let me share with you this trick. I never empty a bottle completely. This sounds insane. I always leave a couple of drops at the bottom or a couple of milliliters, you know, just like a little bit like quantity. So if this is 50 ml, I would leave like a centimeter, you know, at the bottom or half a centimeter of liquid in there um, so that I technically it's not empty. So you can't throw it away. But also because I love to keep it as a reference so that I know from that year, like how more or less the liquid was. Of course, it changes with time. And it oxidizes with the oxygen that comes in when you spray it and use it. But I always love to have them like kind of never empty so that I can always smell also all the difference between the years. And I always have a little bit of that bottle of that liquid left in that bottle. It's kind of very poetic because it reminds me then of the times when I used it. It reminds me, you know, of the period of my life when I was using that particular bottle. So this is kind of my way of tricking myself into saying, you know, you can't throw it away because it ain't empty yet. So there you have it, guys. So, Mr. Stupman, I, I'm i speechless. I mean, I mean, I'm, you know me. When I'm on camera, I always keep talking and I keep it flowing and going because I have to. I don't want to have like those slots when there's like nothing really said and, and you're just like crickets. Um, but I'm literally kind of hunting for words right now because this is so much heart and so much love that uh it's hard to put into words you know and i don't i did not expect this i don't expect anything for me you know it's already so much to to have all your attention and the love and the comments and all the incredible interaction that we're having especially in the comment section where you know the fashion bunker is a community it's not a monologue platform and then to have this extra added love it's 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 overwhelming and um i know i'm talking now but i'm not really saying what i what i feel it's hard to find the right words and forgive me for that because um you know i i don't want to be the crybaby of the situation and and just like you know um cry because but it i'm close <laughs> i'm there you know <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching so, Stupman, not only have you generated uh, the growth of the archive of the Fashion Bunker, but also, especially, the growth of uh, my YouTube channel because you have contributed uh, to ideas for new videos. So there's this video, and then there's going to be the Ankara Noir review, and then there's going to be the Rue de Jasmine review, and a lot more to come as well. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please do thumb it up. And uh, if you haven't yet, but do like what you see on this channel and are a returning viewer, please do consider subscribing here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Like in no other video before, is it important to say, it's thanks to the love that we have for one another that this community is growing. So thank goodness for the fact that we really never give up on love. Thank you guys so much. See you soon. Love you. Bye.